I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel, I of Cycle Clothes. I love to make fun, edgy pieces out of thrifted items. And I made this swimsuit cover up out of a skirt from Goodwill. It cost me $4.99 a skirt. And then I had these fringes laying around. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it. So this is the skirt that I thrifted that we're starting with. I really love the pattern and the sequins and these tassels are awesome. There's two of them. Let's find them here. I will use those as the tie for my cover up. So the first thing I am going to do is cut this waistband off of the skirt. And there's a lining inside there too, and this is also cutting that out. Now I'm just pulling that lining out, and I actually kind of love it. It's just sort of a gauzy cotton, and I'll save for another project. Okay, so after I cut the waistband off, I turned my skirt inside out, and now I'm lining up the very bottom because I'm going to pin that and sew that completely closed. This will end up being the top of the kimono. So I'm going to line that up and pin it nicely and then I'll show you. Okay, I have the bottom all pinned. Now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I am just going to sew this together. I'll just do like a quarter inch seam allowance, you know, match the thread. I'll do a smallish straight stitch. Okay, so I put the bottom up at the top and it's all sewn together. And now I am going to open this up down here and find the center. And luckily I have a seam exactly down the center. That'll be my guideline. And I will cut all the way up to the section that I sewed and I don't want to cut through my any of my stitching so I'll cut right up to that okay so the middle is cut open now okay so I turned the skirt right side out and it's sewn together at the top the sides are still closed up, but we have an open bottom and an open center. Now what I'm going to do is go to the top of my skirt, which is actually the bottom of my skirt, but the top of the kimono. And I'm going to take a yardstick or a tape measure, and I'm going to mark down 13 inches from the very top. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay, so here's the bottom of the skirt that we sewed shut. I marked down 13 inches and I made a little mark. And now what I want to do is I just want to cut a teeny bit off there or just even a split down the side. I just want to open that up, but I don't want to cut into the top that we sewed, of course. So I'm just going to barely clip just like a little piece out of there, all the way down to that mark where we cut 13 inches. Now we have an opening, which will be the armhole. Okay, I'll show you what it's looking like so far. And now all we have to do is sew the fringes and the tie on. Okay, so I don't know if you remember the skirt had this fun little tie belt that has tassels at the end. I'm going to use that for the tie on my kimono. And so what I'm going to do is take a couple little safety pins and I'm going to figure out about where I want my ties to be. And I think just about right there. I, um, I'm not going to mark it with a straight pin because this is flimsy fabric 
and that'll just slip out. So I'm just going to put a little safety pin where I want my belt ties. And then this is too long. I don't want huge long ties. So I'm going to go to the end here and measure up 23 inches and cut that off. Then I'm going to go to the other side, measure up 23 inches and cut that off. Okay, so now all I'm going, I cut these, the 23 inches. Now I'll go to my machine, I'll find that safety pin, and I will just, you know, stitch this right where the safety pin is, and I'll have it facing the center. And I'll just go over that a bunch of times so it's nice and sturdy because I will be actually tying that. Okay, I'm actually going to use a zigzag stitch. I think that'll just make it a little more durable. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Now, I haven't hemmed anything because I am going to use fringe on all the edges. But if you don't want fringe on yours, you can either do go around all the raw edges with a zigzag stitch and have kind of a... A raw edge look or you can double double roll that double roll and make a hem in all the raw areas but I'm going to use fringe and I'm just going to use what I have laying around and I know fringe can be hard to find unless you go to Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabric of course you know places like that have an abundance of fringe but to thrift it just don't, you know, there are a lot of, um, other than just rolls of fringe, you can look at the edges of blankets. A lot of times there's a lot of fringe in the home decor, like blankets and things. Um, a lot of times runners will have fringe that I just cut off and use. Capes, ponchos, shawls, things like that. Um, so just try to be open-minded when you're looking for fringe. It doesn't always need to come on a bolt. You know, kind of look around the thrift stores. Um, it is, you know, it's not easy to find. But anyway, so I don't have enough. What I want to do is I want to do fringe up the front, around the neck and down, around the bottom, and on the arms. But I don't have enough of one fringe to do that. So I'm going to mix three different fringes. And I'll show you what I use for what. Okay, so for the first fringe up and around the front, I'm just going to use this short fringe. It's just what I have. And I'll sew it with this closest to the edge and the fringe kind of pointing in towards the outside here. So then I kind of have this wild looking neutral colored fringe. I will put that at the very bottom because I think it'd be fun to have the longest fringe at the bottom. And I will just sew that. I'll start, after I sew the middle one on, I'll just start at the edge and sew it all the way around. And then I just have like a medium length, a little bit darker fringe. And I will sew that all the way around the armholes with the fringe pointing down onto the arms, of course. I'll just start sewing all that on. Okay, so here it is again. I ended up having enough fringe from the bottom to put on the sleeves. And I like longer fringe, so I went ahead and used it. Thanks for watching.